Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do an updated video on how I'm using my fuel cells. I did do one of these videos about a year, maybe two years ago. I'll try and find that video and link it in the description box below in case anyone's interested in seeing that one. My collection has changed a little since then. I may not have as many now, I don't think, um, but I have a lot of new, new ones and I, you know, buy, sell. I always end up with different ones. Um, so this is how I've been using them over the summer and um, yeah, there's some just some different ideas that might be useful for somebody that maybe has a lot of fuel cells too and doesn't really know what to do with them. So this one here is the Jujube um, for Sanrio. This is Hello Sweets. This one I actually bought for my daughter to use for school for lunch. Um, so on the side here we have a little hand sanitizer. These make excellent little lunch boxes. Three of my girls actually use the fuel cells um, quite often. So there's plenty of room in here. You can put your uh, spoon fork up there. Um, I do use like a little planet box, not planet box, sorry, little yum box. Um, this one is the perfect size for her. We can put like chopped up fruit, vegetables in there. My kids aren't big sandwich eaters, so they kind of like to pick at different things. I've got a fontaine in there that fits. I've got a little uh, snack pouch here that you can put like crackers or whatever you want it in. And then at the bottom of there I've got a little planet box tub that you can put either yogurt or um, bits of cheese or just pretty much whatever you want in really. And even with all that in there as you can see I still had room to put other stuff. So I've kind of still got room. I could stick an apple in the top there. I could even get a banana in there or like a yogurt pot or anything like that. And there's still tons of room in there. So they are great for that. And you can also fit an ice pack in as well to keep your stuff cooler. Over here, I have the Narwhal Nirvana. This is one of their newer prints also. And look at the zipper on that, it's so pretty. Um, this one I have packed as a little activity bag if, uh, I don't know, say if you're going somewhere. I actually used this because I was going to get the oil changed on my car and I just needed something for one of my kids just to keep them busy um, while we waited. So in the top here I just put a pack of tissues, I have a little colouring book back there, a couple of little story books, a doll, a little stuffy, um, there's a little like fidget spinner thing in there and just a whole bunch of stuff one of these little things some pens and then I just threw a little coin purse in there in sea punk and that just has some little chocolate coins in there's a little treat and these make great little activity bags because you can kind of hold a lot in there and you're not kind of trying to squash it all into your into your diaper bag I guess so that's always a good little idea if you want to carry some extra stuff to keep the kids occupied and then over here I have the black petals in here I have a full-size baby Olay blanket this is the 47 by 47 this is the um, Toki Pops one it's that thicker one so that fits into there so this is always great um, I quite often We'll throw it in the car so if we maybe need an extra blanket for whatever reason or if we need one in the car sometimes the air, condi air conditioner kind of blows on the kids and makes them cold so this is always great and as you can see it does fit in there you just have to kind of squash it down so i know some of um i don't use a baby carrier but i know quite a lot of people um do and i believe some of them fit into a fuel cell i don't know which ones but as you can see that that blanket is quite a big blanket and it's quite thick so it like I said it's 47 by 47 and it does fit in there I mean you're not going to get anything else in there with it but that does fit and it's always a great idea to be able to keep that in the car back here I have my wallflower this one I haven't even unpacked properly because I had this one when I was away in Toronto for the pink lady get together and this is what I use as a wash bag so I've got some of the stuff left over in there so this is great you can put stuff in the top here ties um, floss and you've got lots of room in there for all your toiletries and stuff like I said I have taken some of the stuff out but that's always really great because you can hang it in wherever you're staying in the bathroom or the bedroom you can hang it up or you can just put it on the side of the sink and what's great about these 
these all wash up fantastically so you don't have to worry about if you get toothpaste or makeup on them or whatever back here i have a shoreline fuel cell and in this one i have this one set up as like a little mummy activity bag i guess so this is you know if you're maybe going to the spa for a day you know if anyone ever gets to do that i don't get to do that but i thought it'd be a good idea if you're going to something like that for the day or even if you're on holiday somewhere, I guess, and um, you know, you go down to the beach or you go, I don't know, anywhere really where you're gonna be on your own, I guess, with uh, no kids. Um, it's a good little activity bag for you. So in here I threw a David's tea, peppermint tea. So if you've got a little, little flask of hot water, you can make yourself a cup of tea. A hand sanitizer up there. I've got an iPad mini back there, a book. Um, I threw some tissues and lip balm down there. I've got the Be Shady with glasses in and some sunscreen in there. So kind of, it holds quite a lot as you can see. So great little, uh, I guess, adult kit, activity kit. If you just go in somewhere and you don't want to carry a whole bunch of stuff, that kind of works pretty well. And then back here, I have the Warcraft March of the Murlocs and in this one I have put it as a little quick trip um, diaper bag so if you're just going to the supermarket and you don't need a ton of stuff or if you're dropping your kid off maybe at somebody's house for an hour or two and you don't need a ton of stuff this works really great so I've managed to fit an outfit back here I've got the jujube wet bag a change pad a full package of wipes hand sanitizer I've got some training pants in there and two diapers. So it's like, obviously it's not gonna be an all day thing, although I guess you could use it for an all day thing if you filled it with more diapers and stuff. But for me, that this has always worked if I was dropping one of the kids off somewhere um, and I didn't wanna leave my whole bag because I carry everything in my bag. So it was really good, you know, just to have a little extra bag on the side that I could throw in somewhere so that's always great and it's always great you can always keep this in the car as a backup little bag if you don't want to keep something big in there because the fuel cell kind of will fit under the car seat which is really good so that's just another idea there and then over here I have whoops, whoops I have the iconic 2.0 and in this one I set this one up and I have actually used this one a lot this summer. It's got spare dishes and stuff in, and um, I have five kids, so quite often when we go out for the day, especially if it's an out, more so if it's an outdoor activity, whether it's a theme park or we're just gonna be outside all day. We don't always take our own food with us. Sometimes we just take snacks because it does end up that we're carrying a lot of stuff. So what we will do quite often is, um, I don't know, say if we were at a theme park, we would buy like a really big meal, whether it be pasta or stuff with fries, just whatever really, and we'd split it between all the kids. And the same with drinks, we'd get like two big drinks of juice or whatever, and we'll split it between all the kids. I mean, obviously I take water for them too, but you know, like for lunch or dinner, we will have their cups and we can split everything. I put um, hand sanitizer and wipes in there. I have a little baggie here that's got forks in and I have the five bowls and these are the replay stuff and even my 14 year old will eat out one of these. Give him a fork on one of these and he'll quite happily eat because he doesn't care as long as there's something to eat in the bowl. So that kind of works for us because it works out a lot cheaper if we do it that way um, as opposed to buying all of them you know an individual meal that they would maybe not eat all of because that kind of works out quite expensive with yeah. five of them so we quite often do that do it so that they just like split something mm -hmm. or we can just get like two meals and split it between the five of them and that kind of works too and then i have my kaiju city one right here and in this one i always keep this in the car through the summer um not in the winter but in the car in the summer I always keep a wet bag and I've got five bathing suits in here. Um, there's my boys ones, I've got my three girls ones in here and at the bottom here I have all my goggles and I do that, I keep that in the car because sometimes we'll stop off at a splash pad or 
if we end up at a friend's house and then we end up swimming or whatever, I've always got them in the car. Um, I've always usually got about two towels in the car anyway, um, or, although it's that warm here in the summer, they can get out of the pool and they're dry in seconds, but I like to keep that in the car. Just their spare bathing suits, just in case we end up at a splash pad or whatever. And again, it's small enough that you can just throw it in the back of your car and it doesn't take up much room or it can fit under one of the seats. So that is what I'm using, or have you been using, these uh, fuel cells for over the summer. And um, this one, obviously, I haven't used this one over the summer because there's been no school, but all last year my kids took the fuel cells to school. But yeah, anyway, so I just thought I'd do that video. So if anyone's uh, wondering what they can use their fuel cells for, um, other than baby bottles, um, that might be some interesting ideas for somebody. Anyway, let me know uh, what stuff you use your fuel cells for. I'd be interested to hear. Thanks for watching.